Well, Dewan, this was the loudest and most electric I've ever seen Wallace Wade Stadium, despite what happened at the end. Uh, the air sort of let out of the sail there, but certainly you can chalk this up for a win for this program to be in the national spotlight. This game attracting an A list of celebrities, including a bunch of folks who were more famous for playing at the more famous arena next door. Fireworks put the Wallace Wade wackos over the top tonight. Those frenzied fans then serenaded by Duke's marching band before its national TV moment against powerhouse Notre Dame. I've never seen a stadium like this. I've never seen the excitement so of the football program. So it's really exciting and uh, awesome to see the stadium packed out like it is. You've seen that guy in the front row before and a lot of his teammates. Glad to see, you know, football taking that next step, you know, creating the football atmosphere here. This is, this is electric, man. That's Mark Williams and Paolo Boncaro. They're in the NBA now, but they joined the whole Duke basketball team to show up for this primetime showdown. Riley Leonard, Jack Twizmore, those are two guys that I came in with, went to summer school with them guys, so I got a special, you know, special place in my heart for them and the rest of the 25 class. Duke alum Ken Jong and today's celebrity guest picker on ESPN's College Game Day, which made its first football trip to Durham, also couldn't get enough of this. This is the most impactful moment for Duke football. I couldn't be happier for Coach Elko and the team. I'm just honored to be here right now. Let's go Irish. Let's go Irish. Let's go Irish. Right there. Right there. Duke, baby. Duke, easy money. Outside before the game, Blue Devil and Irish fans went toe to toe, including. My name's Ernie Latta, the biggest Notre Dame fan in Durham, North Carolina. Let's go do! People tailgating as much as they could outside Caveville, where you're used to seeing tents waiting to get inside for basketball. But the big screen with multiple football games told you what season this is. It's a very proud moment for, for all of us uh, former players. And it's a program that's growing, and it's a program that's going to um, hopefully match what the basketball program at Duke has done. That is Paul Jenkins, class of 1982, uh, a football player himself. Dewan, this was an amazing night, but certainly um, <laughs> it, it was a difficult end for us Duke fans. But uh, you got to swallow it. You hope Riley Leonard is okay and, and move on to the next, right? Oh, look, that's how football is. You've, you've got 60 minutes to play the game. Unfortunately, it's not how yeah. a lot of the uh, Duke fans wanted things to turn out tonight, but still uh, an incredible matchup no. right there on primetime. Uh, Josh, again, thanks so much.